point if I want to buy them. My answer to you is every sensible and intelligent person does not want to be ripped off. No, a sensible and intelligent person wants to preserve his wealth does not want to lose his wealth. And this is why the Chinese are showing such intelligence. I told you there are probably millions of coin machines all over China, where the Chinese can go and buy gold and silver coins from a machine, yes, and keep them in order to preserve and protect your wealth. When, what happens when paper money collapses? Well, don't you realize what just happened in your country? When your prime minister and his government betrayed the Hindu religion? There is integrity. I'm sure, I'm certain that in the Vedas, I'm not a scholar of the Vedas, there are others who are scholars of the Vedas, and they will come forward and they will point out to you where in the Vedas and where in the Upanishads there is a requirement, a, div a religious requirement to show integrity in business, to be honest in business. Where there is in a requirement not to rip off people, not to steal, all of these things are there in religion, in the Hindu religion, of course. So then why is the government of India betraying the Indian people? Why are they ripping them off? Why are they oppressors? Yes, the government of India is now an oppressor. That is the truth. When they did what they did so mysteriously and clandestinely maybe two months ago in demonetizing the two biggest banknotes, the two biggest currency notes in India the 1,000 rupee note and the 500 rupee note, and lots and lots and lots of people suffered. They are poor, they are people who have no voices, so we don't hear of how they were ripped off, but they were ripped off because they could not get their money exchanged for smaller notes, they didn't pay taxes or anything, on it. small amounts of money, and when they went to change the money to get it, change the smaller notes so they don't have a bank account and these things, these poor innocent people are ripped off. Why did the government do that? Well, they were told, we were told it's because of black money. Well, first of all, I never knew there was something called black money. I didn't know black was a bad color. <laughs> I didn't know that black was a bad color. Uh -huh. What a terrible thing, the language that they use. Then they come and they tell us something else now. They tell us that they want everybody to enter into the electronic or digital monetary system. Well then, let the Hindu scholar tell us. First of all, is paper money legal based on the Hindu religious beliefs? Is electronic and digital money legal? Legal in the religious sense of the word. When the Hindu scholar is finished, he will tell you what the Muslim is telling you and what the Christian will tell you that no, it's bogus, it's fraudulent. In our language, it's haram. So you're being ripped off. And when you cannot exchange your money for something which is a substitute, it has to be put into an account and it's now invisible and intangible money. You can't see the money, you can't touch it, you can't take it out, your money is in prison. Is that what you want to go to? This is why we're telling you to get gold and silver. When your money is in a bank account and it's only electronic money and you cannot take it out of the account, all that you can do is to transfer from one account to another, nothing more than that, then your money is imprisoned. They can freeze your bank account anytime they want. They make the law. They change the law. They can do it. And when they freeze your bank account because you have a wrong name, or they check your emails and they say you're a terrorist, or this or that or the other, that's it. That's it. 
the man say, well, we, are, we have your account under investigation, and five years will pass, and it's still frozen. What can you do? They'll come to complain to me at that time. Or they can seize the money in your account. Have they done that before? Yes. I told you Argentina froze every single bank account in the country for a whole month. Don't you know about that? They can freeze your bank account, and they could also take money from your account without your permission. This happened already. Please do your homework, check it out on the internet, and you'll see. So then what do you do? You don't want your money to be uh, held hostage. Yet in order for your money to be safe in that account, you've got to bow your head down and say, yes, they're speaking the truth about 9-11 that I will never allow on my television station, I'll never allow on my radio station, I'll never put in my newspapers anything which challenges the official explanation of 9-11, because I want to be able to continue to hold my money. These are not human beings, these are rats. They have the integrity of a skunk. They're not men. A man would stand up for the truth, regardless of the price he has to pay. But the media today has, they have the most dishonest people on the face of the earth. That's what I said about the media. That is what I said about the media. They have, they're the most dishonest people on the face of the earth. So there are people like that who will allow themselves to be rolled over and stand up at the line and say everything that the master wants them to say. They're slaves. Then their bank account will be safe. But the rest of us who want to live lives of religious purity and religious integrity, the Hindu wants to be an honest man, a truthful man, a man of integrity. The Christian wants to be an honest and a truthful person of integrity, holding on to the truth and justice. The Muslim wants the same thing. So those of us who are on this side of the fence, we are not rats, we are not skunks. We want to be people of integrity. We want to be able to point to their faces and say to them there are three kinds of lies. There are ordinary lies and then there are great lies and then there is 9-11. We want to be people who stand up like men and not bow down like slaves. These are the people whose money in the bank are going to be in peril. The rest are just dust on the highway of life. They're less than a footnote on the pages of history. But the great leaders of India, the men whose names are inscribed in gold, they stood up for truth and for integrity. Yes, the great men of Christianity, of Hinduism, of Islam, are people who stood up for the truth. And it is when you stand up, not when you sit down, when you stand up that your bank account will be in peril. So if you're amongst those who just sit down with your radio station and you will never, never, never question 9-11, that is your standard of integrity, then your bank account is safe. You don't have to worry. You're just a rat. Or worse than that. Because you're betraying mankind. But the rest of us, we want to stand up for the truth. And we are the ones who now have to worry. So don't keep your money, all your money, in a bank account. No. The gold and the silver will give you some protection because they can't seize it. You have it at home. They have to come with the police to take it from you. Come with the army to come and take it from you. But if you have it in an account, they can just wipe it out like that, and you have no more money. That's my answer to you. What should be the weight and purity of gold and silver coins if I want to buy them? Uh, I am not a specialist in, uh, in that field. Um, but uh, I believe you cannot have a gold coin that is completely, totally pure, because it would be too soft. You have to have some, some alloy in it uh, to make it firm enough. Huh? 
So is it 99.9% .9 gold, something like that? But uh, you have to look uh, on the internet.